Hey there, everybody. So uh, I've made one of these before, but it wasn't that great. Um, I uh, I made a video on how to uh, download and install Packet Tracer um, for Arch Linux, but it was just launching it through Wine, and um, it didn't work for the later versions. It worked for like the older ones. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and download Packet Tracer. So you want to get the Ubuntu version. I'm going to go here. And we're going to want to get this as soon as this is done. I mean, we could do it right now, I guess. Let's do that. So let me open up. Let me actually show that I am on Arch. Although it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go ahead and copy that. Okay. Actually, let's see to our documents. Alright, so we don't have a document. That's fine. Alright. This is a new virtual machine, so... And I did use the Arch Linux Calamars installer just to make this a little bit faster. So there's Packet Tracer, so CD into Packet Tracer. And where's this guy? Is this guy done? He is done. Right, so let's close that. And uh, we could just do this through the GUI. But this is Arch, right? Let's not do this through the GUI. Alright, so there's our Cisco Packet Tracer. So all we want to do is move this to this folder, or the folder that this is, that we downloaded. I, I can't words right now, but anyway. So let's go MV Cisco Packet Tracer, and let's put that to the home. CD. There it is right there. So we'll just MV. Cisco Packet Tracer. Let's put that in the Packet Tracer directory. CD over there. There it is. So clear. All right. So now make pkg. So we're going to do a dash s. This is going to tell it like, hey, uh, if I don't have something, if I don't have a dependency, go get it. And then install afterwards to do that give it a yes and then as soon as this is done all right so 10 years later you do actually get that and you can proceed to install it let's see if it launches And it does. Just put yes here. And there you go. You got Cisco Packet Tracer running on Arch and uh, on a minimal install in a VM. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely possible with one of these uh, distros that are already pretty much set up for you. But I mean, even if you were to install Arch from scratch, like you can still get it. And there you go.